I mean, I had any kind of job you can imagine, okay. from uh, like dishwasher to like a hotel manager uh -huh. or something, uh, starting from sixty thousand okay. up to. I don't know, 200,000. So what's the salary progression from a software developer to like a senior software developer? I was hired in four months. Hi everyone. If you're trying to become a software developer, data scientist, or if you're trying to get a job in this domain, this conversation would be super relevant for you. And if you come from a non-tech background, I can guarantee that there cannot be any better video than this. So I interviewed this guy, his name is Max. He came from Ukraine almost 15 years ago. And then he worked as a dishwasher Uber driver for almost 10 years in the United States. And eventually he became a software developer just after four months of training. His story of becoming a software developer from nowhere is extremely inspiring and motivational. Sit back, relax and see how he learned coding in just a few months, landed a job as a software developer and recently got promoted to a senior software developer role. Watch this video until the end and please share it with someone who wants to become a software developer or trying to get into technical role. This video will change your life and their lives. Enjoy the video. Thank you so much, Max, for taking your time. I uh, would love to know about your journey to become a software developer. So why don't you take us right from the beginning, well, from your <laughs> education background uh, to where you were born and raised as well. Of course. So I'm from Ukraine originally. Okay. Uh, I came to United States in 2012. And I started development journey uh, in, in 2018. My friend introduced me to the to school, coding, become a truck driver because they pay a lot of money <laughs> and uh, become a software developer. So and well, huh? and you can. Uh, find it very helpful if you like don't know anything because there are a lot of people that you actually learn with and after a certain level you kind of become alumni uh -huh. and uh, companies come to to the school and they show some well they're actually trying to hire people there i was hired in four months and after that i mean uh, i got hired as a, what it's called not as on a, on a direct position but as an intern okay. and after that i was uh, hired uh, for as a developer, day. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Max, what was your initial education in? What was your bachelor in? So, I studied University of Finance and um, it was in management. So, mm -hmm. whenever I grew up, <laughs> I had to be hired by the company in the export and import field somewhere there. So, you do not come from a traditional bachelor's in computer science degree? You had no idea about coding before going to coding bootcamp? No. Uh, how did you decide, okay, now let's become a software developer? Okay, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny story. And what were you doing before that, before going to the bootcamp? Okay, so I was doing deliveries like uh, Uber driver. I mean, I had any kind of job you can imagine okay. from uh, like dishwasher to like a hotel manager or uh -huh. something, uh, everything in the hospitality. But my friend a few times said, hey, there is this free school you can learn. Uh -huh. uh, and they actually hire people and pay more than $100,000, right? Wow. So I'm like, okay, that sounds interesting. So I, I chose between two ideas, become a truck driver because they pay a lot of money <laughs> and uh, become a software developer. So, and well, uh, choice was uh, easy. <laughs> and, uh, and, and when did you come to US from Ukraine? So it was 12 years ago, 2012, 12 years ago. yeah. Okay. Uh, so for how many years did you do all different type of jobs, like dishwasher, like or, uh, you mentioned? How many, how many like years? Like 10 years. 10 years you Some, did that? Yeah, around that. Wow, so how was your first interaction with coding? So I didn't want to get in, into coding because I didn't like math. And okay. I thought coding is math. For United States, I really love to do like a DevOps thing, install servers, automate things on my computer so I, I, I learned that part pretty good okay but after I got in the school I found it really overwhelming and, and really hard to to learn because it was totally different from whatever yeah. I learned but what helped is actually people that were nearby and okay. the, the, they, they helped me to ex the exams were pretty hard so it's like a lead code interviews from like level zero to level five and uh, uh, well, that's what we have. It's first level zero was like a, just a simple loop from one to ten or something, and l level five was like, write me an architecture for like an app or something. What was the interview process for you? They use a product called FileMaker. So they ask us to design an app mm -hmm. for their needs. 
-hmm. and uh, we got in the teams of three to five people okay. to design an app. And after we designed an app, uh, they asked us to explain why we did certain things okay. the way we did it. And so basically they saw us coding and they saw the results. And after the results, uh, well, there were some extra bonus points for implementing some APIs. Mm -hmm. So I did the API part. So that's why they loved me specifically. Okay. What programming languages were you using on a daily basis? Yes, in, in the beginning you're using FileMaker, then it was uh, JavaScript. So it kind of has its own language, but which okay. still requires logic and where you can add Python, JavaScript. So what's the salary progression from a software developer to like a senior software developer? So my company is, was pretty good okay. uh, comparing the, uh, to others, I think. Uh, and I believe it was uh, starting from 60,000 okay. and up to... I don't know, 200,000. Okay, so like you were like say, uh, working as an Uber driver, right? Yeah, yeah. And then getting a $60,000 stable job. How, how's the dif life different oh. from earlier to now? It's life, the difference is huge. You uh -huh. see it momentarily, like mm -hmm. you have money in your pocket right away <laughs> and you can spend it on whatever you want. So yeah. freedom is there. What's your advice for people who are trying to get into software engineering? What are the programming languages that you would recommend them to learn now? Probably Python and JavaScript, okay. right? But what I would start is from games, online huh? games with coding. I would learn AI field right now because okay. it's, it's the only thing in demand right now. And, uh, but AI is huge. Like as a software developer, where do you use AI in your daily job? Or what specifically would you recommend? Okay, go and learn this thing in AI. I would encourage someone to just build their own AI. Do you think there will be a need of software developers in future? Yes, it will be a different need. Uh -huh. uh, so you still need to think, right? Mm -hmm. Because the computer is not going to do the think and process uh -huh. for you. And what are the pros and cons of being a software developer? What do you like most about it? What do you hate about it? I. Compared to the Uber driver, I don't have any cons. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a happy man. You're a happy man. Yeah, yeah. So it de depends on what, uh, probably where you were before and what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Suppose if I have one month to prepare for my upcoming software developer interview, what would you recommend me that I to go and study these, these, these things in, in the next one month to prepare best for the interview? What would be your strategy? I would tell you that one month not going to be enough. Okay. <laughs> Suppose be, I know, I know be, basics of coding. Yeah, be that. real. <laughs> okay. Uh, you would need to know basics of coding, of okay. course, right? That, mm -hmm. that would be a requirement. Okay. Uh, and then you would need some kind of automation tool to apply for hundreds of uh, positions that are online yes. because applying just by yourself. It, yeah, that, that's not the that's not thing anymore. It's, you should also have some kind of GitHub page where you can show uh -huh. show off your projects uh, and explain about those. But yeah, thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, that's very, very helpful.